Plaza Motel. Uh, yeah, can't get it sun in the way. Plaza Motel. Not bad, actually. Um, I I liked it. I mean, for fifty five bucks, that was a good deal. Um, you know, you got your own room, two two beds, TV, cable, shower, bathroom. Uh, no refrigerator, no uh, microwave. But the other option was a really bad option. You don't want to stay at. It's like where all the prostitutes and bedbugs are. So. Um, so I'm about a stay 135. It's like 10 o'clock, and I'm about a mile from the trailhead. I'm gonna walk walk back to the trail. Um, first gonna go probably to Carl's Jr. or Hardee's for some people, but. So, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I might actually just uh, do 15 miles, get my normal 15 in. There is no, uh, there's no shelter at 15 miles, it's just tent sites, which is fine because I don't think there's any, I should probably go in here and get some protein bars, but at least go look at them actually, yeah. All right, I'll see you soon. I'm going to go to Hardee's afterwards, or Carl's Jr. Mm -hmm. Camera shy, huh? <laughs> Looks like uh, 4.45 right now. Um... I got the shelter at like three or something like that. It was only nine point something miles out of town. And it's like, there's still a good couple hours left in the day. Um, you know, maybe I can get another four. So, um, I don't really know exactly where I'm going. I just know I'm going to try to stealth up here four miles from the shelter um, there's a local that says there should be some spots up there and he also said there's water 100, 100 feet off the blue blaze um, I guess we'll see if he's right if not I might uh, I might be screwed <laughs> so not really worried about finding a spot. I can make a spot anywhere. But water is definitely important. I have about... I have about a liter on me right now. Um, it's like another 500 feet up to go where I'm going. Definitely... I don't know what changed. Something changed. It all changed just a few days ago really changed the week I got the new quilt but everything's hard everything's harder now and I don't know if it's just the terrain my body I, I don't know what it is but definitely I'm sharing this because it's document it for me but you know it's not all roses out here it's not all it's not easy <laughs> let's just put it that way it's not easy to do it every day it gets dangerous <coughs> oh <clears throat> kind of gets dangerous all right hang on all right i ran into some other people going the other way i don't know who they are i'm at locals so just trying to get back to their car but uh it's dangerous. Hard to explain. I just, with all the ascent, it drains 
every bout, every bit of energy you got pretty much. So just, you know, stepping in general on flat ground, um, you know, any rock or whatever, you just buckle and it's dangerous. So, I mean, I ate as much as I could eat yesterday. You know, and it's like the only other option I had to stay in town longer, eat more. So, my pack, I mean, I'm doing a three-day carry this time, so the pack doesn't weigh as much. But still, I mean, out of the gate today, it was 2,000 feet up. It just drains everything you got. So... You know, at least with the flat mixed in there, it lets you recharge a little bit. But, anyways, people probably think I'm complaining or something, but I'm just sharing what's going on here. Um, definitely been a struggle. There's nothing else I can really cut out of my pack either. Matter of fact, I almost need to add more stuff. But, uh,. Just lessons learned, which I'll probably make a video about someday, about uh, what not to do in the beginning of the hike. Don't fall into the trap that I did, but uh, um, you know, I mean, still at the end of the day, I mean, I always just do less miles. Uh, I'm still gonna try to keep the 15 average if I can, for now. But, uh, that said, let me just say, Southern Virginia, definitely hard. Definitely hard. Not, uh, not what I was expecting at all. Number one, the elevation, there's a lot of elevation, but number two, it's just been rocks, big time. So, uh, let me see if, you know, I mean, this bad right here but you know they're still ankle killers uh, and I twisted my ankle twice in the last uh, two days different both ankles really so I'm just trying to be even more careful but you know I mean it's just you can only go so slow you can only be so careful but anyways I hope uh I hope that water's where that guy said it was. Um, I mean, I guess I I could get away with the water that I have and not cook and just have the the uh, prosciutto wrapped string cheese and a bunch of blowout patches. And then tomorrow, skip the oatmeal and just have a couple of honey buns. You know, I mean, I have enough water to sustain me to, you know, another five miles probably easy. Anyways, um, jibber jabbering and uh, quite often uh, or quite a bit. So, go and hang it up and get up to where I'm going. It's probably another 1.5 miles to where I'm going. So, all right, we'll see you soon. Well, the guy was right. I went down and got water and then proceeded on another point, uh, another point seven. I found a site, I'm not gonna stay here, but I just wanted to see what was down here. See if there's better stuff down here than where I was gonna be. But uh, I wonder if I had cell signal up here. <laughs> I didn't have it, uh, Point seven ago, so I wonder if I have cell signal up here. So yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna head back to uh, where I'm probably gonna set my tent up. Yeah, he was right about the water. It was about uh, I'd say point two down. It wasn't wasn't bad either. Uh, get down there and it's flowing good too. Like I mean, it was to walk. Uh, a little bit past like where you think you would be getting water and then 
over those streams a little bit and then like this is just kind of like a stream aquifer or spring whatever you want to call it and uh was able to fill up my bags uh, my water bottles you know I only had a truck at point seven so that's not bad definitely notice it though like it's it weighs a lot carrying about two liters uh, one two no no yeah about two and a half liters I guess definitely notice it so I figure for sure there'd be somebody up here it's like you know I just figured for sure there'd be somebody up here besides me but that's good I'm the only one and I'm gonna claim the tent spot right in the middle Watch somebody already be setting up. <laughs> That's happened to me before, actually. Um, I'm like, oh, I'm going to stay there. And then I go get water and I come back and there's somebody take the spot. That's happened to me before. And the reason why it happened is because I thought, you know, there's friends down there at the shelter. Or there's friends. Or, uh, you know, or there's other sites or something, you know. But... actually worked out fine when I just left anyway so here's here's where I'm gonna probably stay right here probably gonna set my tent up like right there so got a little bit of a fire pit up here um, I can see this. I could set it up over here I guess let's take a look in here uh, eh, I don't really like it. I kind of like it out in the open, I think. There's no trees. Locals, I guess, been up here. It's the only thing bad about it is uh, you can park not too far and hike up. But so here's uh, here's the view. I guess you could even set a tent up over here. I'm not going to though. Oh wow, I might set a hyperlapse up for you guys out here though. I don't know if you're going to be able to actually get the sun um, coming over here. Oh man, that's pretty far down. Yeah, I don't think the sun's going to end up coming over there. Uh, I don't know exactly which way I'm looking here, but the sun's like way over there. So if it came over here, I'd set a hyperlapse up, but it's already almost, it's already like six. So I don't really think, I don't know. I'll keep an eye on it just in case. All right, I'm going to set my tent up and uh, get uh, dinner and a bear bag hung. All right, see you soon. Hey everybody, I'm in my tent here. Um, got my light on, but uh, I already had dinner. I'm in my sleeping bag here on my quilt. Um, about to edit this video here. Just did 14 miles today. Um, so I'm happy with that actually. You know, I originally set out like doing 10. I got kind of lazy. I'm like, ah, I just don't feel like doing more. And then when I, once, you, once you get to that like nine mile mark, it's like, uh, that's, you know, when it's only three o'clock or something, like I just push on a couple more hours and I'm doing 14. So I'm happy with that. Um, you know, I, yeah, I don't know. For a late start, you know, like a 10, 10 or 10.30 start or something like that. I'm pretty happy with that. So, um, I'm going to look at tomorrow. Um, really, it should be only two more days to get into Bland. Although, the rain uh, in two days. And then it's in, in a few more days, it's supposed to be like super cold during the day and at night. So, I don't know. That's going to be interesting. I'm thinking about ordering a uh, a rain rain pants tonight and have it sent to Damascus. I still probably need to pick up like a fleece or something like that. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this video um, edited and uh, and uh, we'll go from there. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.